filmed it. Boom! Blah, blah, blah. Some idea of uh, what just went down. This was from Wednesday, January 27th, 1230, U.S. military at the White House arresting Congress. And I'm guessing this was last night. Special operations units, including 4,000 deputized National Guard soldiers, remember they did that, acting as U.S. Marshals. And U.S. Marshals, remember, are the only ones that can arrest federal employees like the president. Yes, ma'am. Have served indictments on or were about to arrest 67% of Congress. Early Monday morning, January 25th, between 3 and 6 a.m., military vans, buses, and police cars, along with a multitude of police and military troops, were very busy at a blacked out White House. I just watched everyone in the White House arrested, declared an unnamed person do doing one of the two videos shown below. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Let's see, even though the mass media has refused to report it, the US has been functioning under martial law since Saturday, January 9th. An interim military U.S. government was actually running the U.S. and they saw President Biden as a treasonous agent. Well, of course, remember the act of 1871, right after Civil War, we had no money and the Rockefellers, I think, pushed through, uh, you know, the bankers, the treasonous act of 1871 through Congress, which made the United States, uh, D.C. was a corporation and we've been operating as a corporation ever since. And so the District of Columbia is a foreign area right now. Correct. A few days before Joe Biden's inauguration and due to foreign interference in the 2020 presidential election, Trump had instigated the Insurgency Act, declared martial law and deferred his power to the US military. So yeah, the military's been running things and they have not had communications with the Biden administration ever. I, I Correct. Don't think they ever did. I Thank think you. They did back in December, and then they stopped. Early Monday morning, 25th of January, between 3 and 6 a.m., a blackout occurred in Washington, D.C., around the White House. According to two separate videos taped at the scene, police and U.S. troops were everywhere in the darkness. Military vans, buses, and police cars pulled up to the White House, loaded passengers, took them down the road and across a bridge, and then some vans came back empty to do a repeat. Mustang Medic's rec recording showed many business buses and vans, some marked as military, entering the Capitol grounds. Several people were taped getting out of their cars, showing IDs to guards, and then walking into the grounds. When it was over and seemingly on cue, fireworks lit up the sky. Reports from those on the ground. Perfect. Part two. And because of his dementia and subsequently inability to hold office. The deep state had plans to invoke the 25th on Biden, but Harris in his place and Pelosi as VP. Not going to happen. On Friday, 20, January 22nd, Iwana Seven reported that the U.S. interim military government was about to arrest Joe Biden and his traitor deep state politicians in D.C. Crimes of these elite politicians have recently been exposed from findings of the Russia hoax, Mueller probe, impeachments of Trump and Obamagate. It was reported that to date, 260 global elites have been served. The deal that they got was that if they gave information that was useful, they could have a better death or a jail cell for life. Obama gave up Michelle and then breached his warrant. Oh! It was likely that rolling blackouts would occur in the other areas of this country as arrests were being made. Communications would be cut off for a short period of time. There are some mayors, governors, and judges out there with their names on some of the over 222,000 indictments filed in federal courts across the nation since Trump took office in 2016. How do I know? I know 600 JAG Tuesday, lawyers. 26th of January from about 11 a.m. to about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there were massive internet and network outages on the East Coast. <laughs> said to be a for special operation units making arrests of deep state bad guys. Okay, Simon Parks reported this on his website that Verizon had all of these outages up and down the Eastern Seaboard. So did my friend. And that's friend. unusual. So that is a fact. 
Soon the emergency broadcast system would be activated to announce all the, the military would then produce all TV program, programming for at least the next 72 hours filled with videos of political elites at tribunals accompanied by seven messages from Trump. The networks have already been informed that they could be criminally liable if they didn't allow the feed to air. With global financial markets imploding on Wednesday, 26th, January 27th, the worldwide global currency reset was set to take place. Sunday, January 31st was Freedom Day as per Trump's executive order signed on July 4th, 2020. Oh, I did not Last know that. Thursday, tw January 21st. Two Baghdad suicide bombers killed 32 and seriously injured dozens of others. That was the reported to be deep state Iranian ISIS retaliation for the GCR being pushed out in Iraq and globally. Since Saturday, the 9th of January, the U.S. has been under an abbreviated martial law. The 10 miles of Washington, D.C., White House and the Capitol building was secured with barbed wire fences and over 30,000 troops. The U.S. military would control all assets, taxpayer dollars, conduct a return, conduct a return to a gold asset backed dollar and ensure yes. the public would be restored to elements of the original Constitution as written prior to 1871. This is the part two. ruling the U.S. right now. Number one is a legitimate interim military U.S. Clapper. Part five, my clapper family. Are you ready? You may have an opinion on this car. Thank you, Jasmine. Uh, Jasmine Cox. Does anybody have an opinion on this? That is a. What is this car about? What is this car about? You think? Dude, that is an Interpol. It's a diplomatic. That means they're getting. Oh, they're getting a foreign diplomat within Congress. What could be going on? Well, that's what a lawyer carries behind this is him. This amazing. I really think I am I'm, I am the only person out here filming. There's no press anywhere. There's that's me, kind of buddy. Bad. There's I'm you. Here with American flags on the hood that makes a million. Who's got, a, who's got an idea of what's going on here? Does you got about 500 idea? JAG officers going in. Jag, Jag. They got a driver. They got out of the back. He's looking at me. And nobody. Uh, no sudden no moves, you idiot. Man. Is this legal, guys? Would somebody tell me that, please? Tribunal, there are no laws. Only what's yeah, already in paper. Uh, Ohio gravy, thank you very much. Uh, Don't stand in front of that fire hydrant. <laughs> I'm loving it, guys. This is like three Christmases in one day. There's another set of three JAG officers. Uh, the lawyer, her assistant, uh, and the one that carries the paper. And R. Heath, again, $49 or $50 donation. I'm really very grateful, guys. And of course, back to Duke, you know, for, for your two donations. Jay Collins, thank you for your donation. Thank you for your two donations. Sometimes, bad guys don't think far enough ahead. They don't understand that just because we as the great American people, as big as we are on the whole planet, have this one central location that is representative of us, it's still only representative. America is a lot bigger than just one little tiny speck on the freaking planet. This is good. I got this time to kill. You don't mind, do you? My city may represent America right up until it doesn't represent America. It has to be this tough. It got this screwed up because people forgot how easily an enemy can come in by subversion, by misdirection, by lies. Yep through treasonous traitors, through bribery, through black, black, mm. honey, every way you can do it. It's all well. Control of a country, mm. control of Those honeypots with the young girl. Clapper. All right, here's the actual live three minute feed.
and there's an interpretation of dates now. It might have actually happened inauguration day just before they walked out and signed the paperwork. That's why there was less than a hundred people in attendance. And they didn't allow President Trump there because they said he was not allowed there. It was not he couldn't attend. They said he was not allowed there because he was a threat to Biden by being there. So they did that. I just want you guys to know that. But this is the actual... Now, if you look down on the corner, sir, you're going to see cherries. This whole roll is nothing but cherries and berries. What's that? Cherries? What's that over there in the corner? What's that over there? They surrounded the entire city block with over 200 vehicles. Cherries there. Here we go. Now you see the powers on at the Washington Monument. Their key excuse was a circuit breaker failed. Oh yeah, I sure hope you don't have any dams with the circuit breaker like you got in that. But they were old, they said. But that has nothing to do with the White House and the surrounding grounds. You see the high-powered spotlight on a lamp that's powered by a generator? Why is that there? But now the whole time this is going down, they've got all those buses already in there. They already got the JAG officers in there. They're actually holding the tribunals in the White House is what President Trump's exact words were not too long ago. I want to do a second half of this. Clapper. Okay, here's the actual letter in the envelope that was given to everyone that day. Clapper.